Hi, my name is Julia. I'm 19 years old and I'm studying Material and Nanotechnology Engineering at the Polytechnic of Milan. I had the chance to learn about the Fundazione Bracco during my fourth year of high school when I took part in the project A Week as a researcher, directly promoted by President Miss Diana Bracco, aiming to encourage young women to undertake the study of STEM subjects. Since I was a child, I've always asked myself many questions about what surrounds us, wondering how an object could work or what it was made of. I chose material and nanotechnology engineering because I believe that knowing the composition, the response to different stimuli and the types of material processing allow humans to consciously shape and adapt nature to their needs. I'm thinking, for example, of the Chinese train Manglev, a train that uses the physical principle of magnetic levitation to reach a speed of 600 km per hour, a result achieved thanks to the total absence of friction on the rails. It was made using superconducting materials, uh, still partially mysterious, but with the amazing property of zero electrical resistance below a certain critical temperature. Another material with undisputed potential is graphene. Graphene is produced from graphite through the separation of the layers that compose it. It is an ultralight material that it has the thickness of a single carbon atom, but with incredible mechanical performance. To give an idea of its extraordinary mechanical properties, you may consider that the article announcing the Nobel Prize for the discovery of graphene explained that it was possible to consider a layer of this material as a hammock of one square meter able to lift a cat of four kilograms, yet weighing only as much as its whiskers. It is precisely when you come across such revolutionary discoveries that I think you can really understand how important it is to invest time and resources in implementing the use of these materials, to make informed and cutting-edge choices in the design of new devices. STEM studies, already fundamental now, will become increasingly important in the future, and it is therefore unthinkable that the gender gap that still exists today, though, will remain unaltered. So, especially to you, young lady, if you want to know how to assemble an engine, how to program a website, or you simply want to learn why a piece of marble is white or a ruby is red, go ahead and start studying, because it's all worth it.